Hi folks, good to be with you. Don't forget my website, jcbirdspreacher.com, Twitter and Facebook and Royal Blood Ministries. We're looking at five things about him, Mohammed. Five things about Mohammed. This is from truthnet.org. Mohammed did not know if he would go to heaven after death. Narrated by Karichi bin Zayed bin Thabit. In Salih al Bakari, Volume 2, Book 23, Number 334. Excuse me. <coughs> um, in the narration, it says Umar al Ali, an Ansari woman who gave the pledge of allegiance to the Prophet, said to me, The immigrants were distrib distributed among us by drawing lots, and we got into our share, Uthman bin Mazum. And we made him stay with us in our house. Then he suffered from a disease which proved fatal when he denied was given a bath and was shrouded in his clothes. I was apostle came. I said, May Allah be merciful to you, Abu Sa Asa Saib Sayyid. I testify that Allah does honour you. The Prophet said, How do you know that Allah has honoured me him? I replied, O oh, Allah as apostle, let my father be sacrificed for you, or whom else shall Allah bestow his honour? The Prophet said, No doubt, death came to him. By Allah, I too wish him good, but by Allah, I do not know what Allah will do with me, though I am an Allah's apostle. By Allah, I never attested the piety of anyone after that. So, uh, Muhammad didn't really know whether he was going to get saved or not. Number two, Muhammad could not distinguish between a revelation supposedly from God or one from Satan. The History of Tabari, Volume 6, page 108. Muhammad could not distinguish between a revelation supposedly from God or from Satan. The messenger of God was eager for the welfare of his people and wished to effect a reconciliation with them whatever he could. Then God revealed, have you thought about Alat and Allah Uzza and Manat the third of the other? When Satan cast on his tongue the two phrases, these are the high flying cranes, verily the intercession is to be desired. Then Gabriel came to the messenger of God and said, Muhammad, what have you done? You have recited to the people that which I did not bring to you from God, and you have said that which was not said to you. Then the messenger of God said, I have fabricated things against God, and have imputed to him the words which he has not spoken. This is in the history of Tabari, volume 6. But this story, listen to this, this story can even be found in the earliest sources of the life of Muhammad. So how's about that? That is really serious stuff. Number three, Muhammad denied that he could perform miracles. In the Quran, Surah 17, Surah 17 verse 90 to 3, they say, We shall not believe in thee un until thou cause a spring, a gush, forth from us from the earth, or until thou hast given of dates, trees, and vines, cause rivers to gush forth in the mist, carrying abundant water, or thou causest the sky to fall in pieces, as thou sayest will happen against us, or thou bring Allah and the angels before us face to face, or thou have a house adorned with gold, or thou mount a ladder right into the skies. No, we shall not even believe in any mounting until thou send down to us a book that we could read, say, Glory to my Lord, I am aught but a man, an apostle. Quran 17, 23. Muhammad made false prophecies. Suhari Bukhari, Volume 4, Sahih, Al Bukhari, Volume 4, Hadith 3329. When Abdullah bin Salam heard of the arrival of the Prophet, the blessing and peace of Allah be upon him, at Medina, he came to him and said, I am asking you about three things which nobody knows but a Prophet. What is the first portent of the hour? What will be the first meal taken by the people of paradise? Why does a child resemble its father? And why does it resemble its material uncle? Allah's Apostle, the blessing and peace of Allah be upon him, said, Gabriel has just now told me of the answers. The first portent of the hour will be a fire that will bring together the people from the east to the west. The first meal of the people of paradise will be extra lope of fish liver. As for the resemblance of the child to its parents, if a man has sexual intercourse with his wife and gets discharged first, the child will resemble the father. And if the woman gets discharged first, the child will resemble her. All that Abdullah Bin Sami said, I testify that you are the Apostle of Allah. Mm. Comment note that this was a test to determine Muhammad was a prophet. Muhammad failed miserably. The post portent of the hour will be fire. How is this verifiable predictive prophecy? Since the end of the earth, the hour of judgment, 
when the earth will be destroyed has not yet occurred. The first meal in paradise will be an extra blob of fish liver. Again, how is this verifiable predictive prophecy? And a child looks like his mother for father who gets discharged first during sexual intercourse. Now this one Muhammad got it wrong. One would think if an all-knowing God was giving Muhammad revelation, this God would know biology. Why would anyone want to follow a man with such wrong message? And then finally, fifth, the th Muhammad thought he may be demon possessed. Woe is me, poet or possessed. Never shall the Qureshi say this of me. I will go to the top of the mountain and throw myself down that I may kill myself again and gain rest. The, the life of Muhammad, Sarah Razu Allah, Muhammad, Muhammad ibn Ishaq, translated by Alfred Gummer. Galum, Oxford Press, page 106, comment. It is recorded in another Islamic literature that Muhammad tried three times to commit suicide by jumping off a mountain. No other prophet in history thought he was demon-possessed because of the revelation he received what led Muhammad to this conclusion. So, it's not good. Good. So, so Muhammad didn't know when he was going to heaven or not. Muhammad couldn't distinguish between right revelation from God or saying. He admitted unwittingly in the Quran that he couldn't do miracles. He made false prophecies and he was suicidal. How can you believe in Muhammad he was a false prophet, folks? God bless you.